job. None of them. Perhaps my job is just for coming so and have the best life for me can possibly have. Because the reality is no matter how perfect a, a circumstance or a perfect an environment you try to create for everybody be equal in it, it will never happen. It will never, ever, ever happen. You know, being able to accept, say, even when you raise the bottom, and no jokes, no, no, why me? When you raise the bottom, the value of the bottom are going to change, you know. And the way how people used to feel about the previous bottom, I saw them go feel about the new bottom, you know. So if being broke, if the standard for being broke was at $100 and you raise it, Keisha, get better by tomorrow, man, and come in even one day in a rehearsal, man. Let me tell you, if the standard, if, if, the, if the previous, if the previous measure for being broke was to only have a hundred dollars, then it means, say, when you have a hundred dollars, you ever feel unhappy because you only have a hundred dollars, because that means you're broke. And somebody who have a thousand dollars, you feel good, because they're not broke. But if you raise that and say, the standard, for being broke is a thousand dollar. A thousand dollar man instantly stop feel happy, you know. Nothing else not change except you raise the bottom, you know. And him go start feel unhappy right away. Because happiness our one decision. Because comfort our one decision. Comfort is not a space, you know. Comfort and a space. Me remember when me just see that child come in your business. And me used to travel, go dance, and me, me used to when I'm tired and I want to sleep, I stand up in a dance and I lean, lean on the sound box and fall asleep. You know? Because I'm tired and I need to sleep. And I would sleep, get some rest however I could. I powered people and then I got me back and I lean up on the sound box and I, and I catch a little shot eye. Right there, so with the bass a beat in my ears. You know? With the bass a beat in my ears, I drop asleep leaning up on the sound box. And I was comfortable. Would I be comfortable like that now? No. Because my standard raise. My standard raise. And that's the only difference. Because the sound box not change. So why is it no longer comfortable? Nothing about it not changing. In fact, the sound box then probably get more comfortable now. Because technology come a long way. And building styles. The box building styles. Them change and stuff. So they look cuter maybe. But me not comfortable. This no more. There was a time when me did... When, when me didn't want to go, pa, go spend holiday on one family member house, so much so that if I even two million away there, me that extreme, me that comfortable stand up and sleep, me that comfortable lie down in a one corner, pa one towel, and me that, and me comfortable, and me that fine. But now that no, no, we not have to do that no more, me not comfortable with that. So, comfort really is not a, a particular condition. Comfort. The only condition will create comfort in your mind. And you decide for be comfortable. You decide. It's a decision. So if you even raise the bottom, if you change the measures of what create what 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 is what what decides what is poverty and what decides what is wealth, if you change all of that, do re do realize you know, say we call it inflation. We are call it inflation because of course of everything I go up and the money keep going. We, and we keep climbing. I mean, I don't know why we not decide to just stop because <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Say y'all say the price gone up, your paycheck no got, got gone up, the interest gone up, the everything. When we don't stop right over there and stop move. Why not? What point of all is going up if it, if everything I go up relatively, then not not really I go up. So why we not just fucking stop? It's stupid, right? But it's a, it's a transfer of wealth. So understand, say, now the movement I go up, some, some actually are a side fan too, you know. Because <laughs> you know, I go up as fast as the money. So you know, say somebody else has suck it off. But, are we decide. We are the ones who decide what value things have. So when, when, when a, a, a $10,000 was a lot of money, when most people only have one $5 or one $10, and $10,000 was riches. A man is happy with $10,000. Very happy with $10,000. And he walk around with his chest out. And his shoulder then square. Because he have 10 grand. 
and it's a lot of fucking money. But them time 10 grand, it'll probably be like 10 million. But today, a man with 10 grand will ball and I beg you another 10 for make you for try to do something because he broke. Same 10 grand, different value. Right? So if you raise the you know you raise the bottom, you can't raise the bottom without a raise everything and go up. And so you raise everything and go up as so the, the value of your feeling of comfort will go up to. The value where you place for your happiness will go up to. All of that will go up. So you're still not happy. And if that you chase, you will never fucking happy. So me wonder, am I am I caught up in a am I really caught up in an exercise of utility? I fight a fight, may I fight this fight all me know myself and me tell myself say, but come out of one room and I come from poor people and me a Kathleen Spence with me and I have an obligation for fight a fight. But why? Because me tired and it not me not win. Since me start the fight, I'm not win. I'm not getting no win. I just get sadder and sadder and sadder and look and be like, what the fuck? Brit, when me done, me need to talk to you now. <laughs> You realize that that come right? Brit, you there still me. I need to talk to your blood clot. You need to start charge me for them session, you know? No, me, me I come out of the fight. Each time I come out of the fight, worse and happy. Because me I look on the kids and I see myself. Me I look on some little kids and I see myself. Because I need that when I look in my tear up shots. When I look at dirty foot. Cute. Dirty still. <laughs> I mean that maga, knee, elbow. Big forehead. I mean that. That is me. That same look up it now when I see this. So I feel obligated to fight for the picnic because nobody never fight for me. I may fight and fight, but I have not win. I have not won. Not one of them fucking battles me not win. Like, me can put a smile on my face momentarily, but me can tell you this. If me not change the way of thinking, me can't keep the smile there. Because that smile there, eh, superficial. It's temporary. It, 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 it now come from... It now come from no stable space. Society media program us by showing us what is happiness and we don't stop chasing. G Bailey, blame yourself for that. Because a whole lot of people show you a whole lot of things and everything where they show you, you take her. You decide which of it you take. So if you take that, you have to blame yourself. It is you. And when people, you know, when I just start my social media discussions and I say, think no man, people tell me some bad word. When I say think, you don't think me tell them for something, their mother. I say think and then cost me. Like, Think bad? Think? I say, just think, you know, I say, please, think. And then cost me. They will find their way just as you did, but that doesn't mean you can't help as you feel called. But I feel tired, though, Brit. I don't mean I feel tired. I feel tired, honest. I'm mean, not physically tired. I feel like I'm spiritually tired, like me. There was never an experience that made me feel like I won. Oh, Medwick, speak up yourself. Um, you, you know, remember one time I watch a movie and it, them teach me a new word, one new phrase, a pyrrhic victory. One pyrrhic victory is one in which what you win is lesser than the greater loss. So, you win this battle at the cost of losing one war. That's one pyrrhic victory. So, where you win... Um, less out than where you stand for lose, and me, me win quite, me quite a lot. Me have a lot of personal success, but me not talk about my personal success. Me talk about me relative to my collective. Me talk about my position in the universe or in my environment. Me not feel like no win there because when me just start to talk about social injustice, when me get a platform and me have a load mode. I talk about social injustice and people applaud me and say, yo, social commentary, you are the boss, blah, blah, blah. Since then the crime rate gone up, skyrocket from the first time I talked till now. Me never affect it going down. And I'm not saying I was supposed to, but I'm saying, what's the point? What's the point though? Like, if me attack. About sitting and all we're going to do applaud. I don't look no applause. Me can, hey, I can write about cardboard and make you think it's funny. You know? Understand, say, I don't big me, I big up myself and I don't ego. You know? This is what I do. Like, if you can't sew on yourself, I can't sew on jacket. You know? That's not supposed to be you or be egotistical. You know? This is not you bragging or being hype. You know? No, that's what you do. You can't sew and you sew a jacket. I can't write. That's what I do. I'm an actual profession. 
And me know if you fuck say me can write to you. Me can me can dump you and make you feel like me do you one favor. As long as I put my pen on the paper. There is nothing where I can write. I mean, I just say that for big up myself. I don't look no props. I don't need to look no props. I know what I'm capable of. So if I look applause, I really don't need to write about poverty. I can write about your emotion, what you feel. I can write about your experience, what you just got through. You think, I don't know what you just got through. I know everybody got you, because I got you them too. No human are that unique. We're all unique in our collection of, uh, of parts, but now we have no unique part. So everything where you got you understands that some other humans got through it too. You don't have nothing where you alone have. Right? So, I don't have to write about social comment. And in fact, right now, me, me see things I want to talk about it, but it not feel right. It feel like, it feel like we, we know what go on. We already know. There's nobody alive when we know what go on. Anybody who said they don't know, in a denial. And they want to be in denial. They just don't want to think about it. So I don't want to be one for yank them out of their comfort zone. Like me, I the one where I plug you off a matrix and say, come out there so come drive around in another blood clot wasteland you know, run from machine where I try to kill you all day. Plug me and back on the fucking matrix. There's nothing wrong with that. So, do I want to be out here talking about no fucking social commentary and I remind you of the things that we already know and tell you how bad life is? Or you want we just talk about pretty drinks? Maybe we just go talk about pretty drinks and we just go drink some because... The fuck? I'm a writer and you have just opened some next space in my brain. May happy if you do that. Me the love... I love to open up every space in everybody's brain. People open up space in my brain too. I make me start to use it. I make it not get a cowboy. But that we did a feature that first still. Like before we come here so can interact, me honestly feel like we did plan the moment here. Yeah. I feel like we did plan the moment here yeah, before we come on the plane or with the pan. That's earth. You can believe anything you want. I know this you. But me believe. Say so we couldn't just pop up out our in our mother belly. And just come here so and then go and that's it. Me also believe said so don't boy I couldn't sit down now and cheer a plan for go burn you for eternity. And even though you're organic, you just not stop burning, you just keep burning, burning, burning. And him so morbid that he actually sit down and watch. Me not believe that neither. Me not have such a me not have them the kinda of, me not have them the kind of entity in my life in a no capacity. So me can't have a God like that. It's impossible. I don't have them the wicked people who rule over me. Me come out of pure love. I come out of pure love so my creator could not be evil. Me have to have a loving creator. That's it. I mean, I feel like I'm a job. I feel like the face is gone. I did say it when I did supposed to say it and me move on. It's like I grow past it, but I still try to keep my work this on. Right now, I feel like I just go on when I grow go. Because right now, hey, I meditate, I try to meditate, you know. Sometimes I wonder if I'm selfish to think everybody for wake up because it's never easy enough pain to take for what me, man. Hey, I don't think so. Alright, you know, so I'm not going to pay that, man. Because you can't real. I don't think so. Our job for wake up, everybody. I don't think I will job for wake up everybody. Um, then tell me something I want to wake. Boy, I did a try, you know, and... <laughs> I feel, now I feel kind of bad. Because the reality, what me personally know is that, I don't know nothing what you don't know, you know. It's just that I accept some things where you don't accept. And you probably accept some where I don't accept neither. So it's not like saying me know more. And if you choose for not acknowledge that thing that in your life and you don't want in your life, do I really have the authority or do I have the right? Is it even kind of me? Say, you know, we out your son. We do the little. <laughs> ah. Uh. 
Uh, yeah, Brick, me need a video call because I fall apart. You can see it happen, don't. <laughs> Brit, I'm drowning. No, listen. We have this little thing where we have this the superiority complex where all we need to feel like in a some way, shape, or form we more su we, we superior to somebody else. We need that. So the vegans feel like they're superior to the can uh, um, carnivores. Um, and the, the Christians feel like them, the, the religious feel like they're superior to the non-religious. And each religion feel like they're superior to the other religion. And now there's, there's this white felt like they were superior to black. And now black feel like, hey, motherfucker, we superior to you. And this new era, Oshain, they woke and they awake. And all of them groups feel like they're superior to everybody else. And it's just one big clusterfuck. I may feel like I'm supposed to say goodbye to all of that and just go off in my little corner. You see where the compound come in now, Brit? It's not a cult, you know. It's a culture of people where they believe it I love dog. We don't need all of them sitting there. We just need to have something to eat. So you build your greenhouse and you grow your food. Eh? Or you grow in the back if you want to dig all that land and if you have all that land. But if you have... One, you know, say good night, Jeta Jamie. Me, I look forward to chatting there again because you are so like myself. <laughs> Listen, you, me soon cut it, Brit, me soon cut it. One greenhouse can grow all of the food you need to eat. All of it. Lisa Marie, no, thank you. Say, hey, me, you know, say, over, when I realize that over time, our company change. We used to have a lot more trolls and we used to have a lot of people come in and talk foolishness. You do realize, say, all the way. I don't know. If you not talk to me really, then it means that we are exchanging. You know? And it, it become more meaningful over time. Because we don't really have... You know, say foolishness in the air no more. Except when we are joke around with each other. I like that. I appreciate it. And the more we talk, while I talk, I think and I listen to myself and I hear it. And... My mind opened up too, and more stuff I come forward, and then things just jump out. I'm like, but hey, bitch, you just said this. And hey, bitch, you used to say this. You think you did talk too much? No, you're mad. There's no such thing as talk too much. Will you show us your fish farm? Me not fish farm, I have a fish pond. <laughs> farm. <laughs> but, conversation is key. And, not just mindless, aimless conversation, but a real communication where you actually listen to each other. Where you actually acknowledge one another um, and be willing to accept that there might be something you don't know. Especially in a one, from one position where you never occupy. Yeah? Good night from Birmingham. Night? Lisa Marie, where you going to go to your bed? Good night from Birmingham. I mean, you're, you're six hours ahead. From, big up your mom. Hug up your mom for me. Blood cleat, Elliot, go your bed. Listen, I have to talk to Brit because why I have a lot of unloading. And by the time I go on to her, I de me, me, me decompress already. I mean, I prefer she gets some of my compression. I'm tired. Today's session is nice. Thank you, the therapist. <laughs> be nice to each other and be nice to yourself. And stop. Can we stop trying to wake up everybody? Everybody know how to wake up. Some people want to go sleep. Some people want to sleep. You can't imagine you just go lie down and start sleep. Jesus, please, Lisa Marie, go to your bed. Two sitting. Maka in your bed. Good night, friend Dominica. Hey, picture say you just go sleep. And one of the worst things to me when I pull up all night, I work all night and I drop asleep at 5 o'clock. And then somebody call me six of blood clad clock. You know how I want to kill them? You know how fucking annoying that is? Me just drop asleep. Worse when time I answer them phone and they say, Where the pun? Like, me bed. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. That no piss you off. So me don't want to do that to nobody. Yeah, California, they're behind you. They're three hours behind us, huh? I don't want to do that to nobody. I do not. I don't want to be that guy where as soon as you 
fall asleep and you just snuggle in. You, you just go so and wiggle till you find a sweet, you feel a sweet position. And you curl up just right. Feet all, hug up your knee all, stuck in your big finger and then somebody come bring in your ears and wake up. I don't want to be that person. Eh? So, alright, if you don't catch me, I try to wake up nobody, just gently tap me on my shoulder. And if that don't work, thump me in my head. <laughs> like, let people them alone and make them sleep. And we don't go call them idiot and sheep and them something. Well, me, me, between me and you, from, from the beginning when they start say sheep and me fall in with the dialogue and me think about it, I'm like, that's so fucking disrespectful. So my Lego sheep, me said, please, let's not call nobody no sheep. That's not nice. That's not nice. Send kids, big up. Big up, Nevis. Big up, send kids. Big up, my sweet sister, Cynthia, from over there too. Yeah. You add up me if you turn off my phone. And I tell him, true, true. But me always keep my phone on and I say, in the odd chance that smuddy were close to me, really, really near me. Funny thing, you know, I drop asleep on the deep. A persistent people with a double, double and triple ring wake me up, you know. And that annoyed the fuck out of me. Because if you call me one time, trust me, miss call. If you call me ten times, I don't call you back. Because you are a nuisance. Ten times? Yes, sinful, pass it on. And from over Nevis, big up my, my friend them too. Nice teeth, nice smile. All right, I'm sleep well. But I'm going to live now. I really, really appreciate it. To the, to the conversation was a long door. It was so enlightening. I'm going to come out of this now. I feel like I don't really want to have them conversation yet. That, that way. Who am I trying to talk for? I don't know what I mean. I'm not sure words, you know, I tell people how I feel. If you don't like it, it's your business. Who keeps calling me? A lot of people keep calling me, but I change my number, I'm not giving nobody. So that's who fix. That's who fix. Exotic Latina, a long time, I don't see you. My baby big now, though. Long, long time. Your baby, the baby is a big man. He's a, he's a daughter of her son. But he's an adult person that now. Anyways. I see no one next time. I cut me go cut now. And I said bye before, right? But I said bye again and this time I really go for you. I enjoy today's conversation. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Big up on yourself here. Enough love.